Now on the channel we're going inside Vivid Pyrotechnics Reapers and having a look at what makes these things so good. <laughs> We've seen them in action. Now, let's get one of these things out the pack, deconstruct it, and see what makes these things tick. Okay, so we have our rocket, but before I continue here, guys, snowflake warning, please do not attempt anything you see here. Once again, do not try this at home. If you attempt to replicate any of what you've seen here in this video, it is merely at your own risk. So let me show you what not to do with these particular Hawk style rockets. And that is, I have one here, do not grab the top and twist because ro these rockets are now designed to fall apart if you try and take them apart. What you should do is just press in the top like this and the cone on top of the actual Hawk rocket will start to fall away. Then it's a case of just popping the top off and if we look down we have a firing spacer. This ensures that the Explosive chemical compositions are very close to the source of ignition. So basic principle here of this particular rocket is the rocket motor is ignited. The motor burns up as the rocket ascends up into the atmosphere before finishing with a flame that ignites the effects inside the rocket. Now what's inside the rocket? Guys, I'm going to show you right now. So if we take the spacer out, the bag of explosive chemical compositions is actually glued to the spacer to ensure that the best possible ignition when the rocket motor burns out and shoots a flame right through the Hawk's body, igniting this bag of effects. And that's literally all it is. The mechanics of any Hawk style rocket is really really basic. Basically this bag contains massive stars, flash powder, black powder, titanium powder, aluminium powder, dextron, bavarium nitrate and many other explosive chemical compositions and metal salts and the actual shell is the actual rocket itself. It's not like firing mortar shells or ball shells out of mortar tubes that are actually separate entities that are full of the actual explosive powder. This is the shell itself, the outer body of the rocket. This is the shell and this provides the pressure and the bang. Guys, I'm going to put this back together now. It's a very simple procedure. All you do is you put the bag back in push the spacer down to the exact precise position where it was and then glue the cone back on and it's as simple as that and all you need is a glue gun to do that so what I'm going to do here right now in this video is put a black mark across the rocket to prove that this is the one that I taken apart and we're going to fire this off and see if it still performs. Okay guys, reconstructed Reaper rocket and X marks the spot as you can see right there. Let's fire this one off. Guys, if anything, I think that performed better. Seriously, I think that was the best Reaper I've ever had. Guys, this is the way forward. Take them apart and reconstruct them. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And of course, don't try that at home. It is extremely dangerous. Please, thank you for watching.